I'm going to talk to you guys about probably one of the most boring fucking subjects, but also could be one of the most interesting subjects in, in like history. And that's uh, Irish unification. And so if you don't know, the Protestants and the Catholics in Ireland don't care for each other. And so you get the Irish Republican Army going against the Protestants of Northern Ireland. Uh, it's it's always been a, uh, a, a touchy subject. Uh, it's been referred to as the Troubles. Um, it, there's a lot been fuck, drinks at a bar, Irish car mom, songs, YouTube, Sunday, bloody Sunday. I mean, there's so much that is tied to even just the, the troubles in Ireland. And I saw something, uh, just a bit ago before I got on stream that really was interesting. And I kind of want to show it to you. So the first video, I'm not going to play it with the sound. We'll, we'll play some of the other ones with the sound. But it's this video right here. Now this, that's an ulcer flag on the right. That's that's a, a English flag for Northern Ireland. That's them. And then the Irish flag on the left. Okay? Them walking arm in arm. Just to give you an idea, this article was posted the 16th of July of this year. Okay? Talks about how remote of a, of a proposition Irish unification is. And now you've got these two guys, at least, if not more people, walking arm in arm, crossing the line, standing side by side. And it's kind of for what, right? Well, that's where we get into some of these other posts here. I mean, this is this is genuinely a big deal. But basically, make no mistake about it. This is unprecedented. The national flag of Ireland flying next to the Ulster banner. Again, this flag. Um, unified in more important uh, unified in a more important fight as uh seen by those from both dublin and belfast okay so there's something obviously going on in dublin and belfast right we're living through a moment that will be remembered as the beginning of something and this person goes on to say more uh beginning of something uh seismic right okay so this is a huge deal right right no this is not new york this is not new york this is this is in Ireland, in Dublin and Belfast, Ireland, and this is fucking huge. Now, this next clip I'm going to show you, there is sound, and I will give a little bit of context, the very limited context that I know on this situation, but right here. Hopefully you guys can hear that plan. You hear this in his voice? The tricolor flag. So there's a bunch of Palestinian flags and stuff on the left hand side of this tree here. And we'll mute that. There's a bunch of flags, of Palestinian flags and gay flags and just different uh flags from other different nations all on this one side of the street the other side of the street you got the irish flags you got the english flags and everything else the union jacks even out and shit like that which is unfucking called for unfucking called for this is in belfast i believe yeah belfast we have pride flags and palestinian flags crowds chanting whose streets are streets that's this side that he's looking at now to people flying Union Jacks and Tricolors, the Tricolors, the Irish flag, and this shit is about to kick the fuck off, okay? Let me tell you, this shit is not fucking good. When the Irish are willing to fucking get along to fucking go against you, this is, this is nuts, okay? This is fucking crazy. And, again, can I point to an article that came out days ago? days ago talking about the 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 uh remote chances remote right here right in the fucking title remote chances of irish unification so what's going on why 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 is this a big deal why am i why am i spurging out like this right well right now southampton uh belfast dublin 
I thought I saw a couple like Cheshirefield, a couple other different cities in England as well that are in full-blown riots. And what has happened is over the past couple of weeks, several people have been stabbed by uh, foreign immigrants coming into the countries because they have an open borders policy, right? Well, this fucking open borders policy has led to a bunch of uh, unscrupulous people coming across the borders. Now, I, I, I don't really give a shit what your politics are one way or the other, but the fact is, is that these people are disarmed as far as like no firearms and shit like that. So you don't get gun deaths over there. You get acid attacks, you get stabbings, you get shit like that. And recently three little girls were killed in England and now three women have been killed in Ireland. And this has been enough that there's been just straight fucking outrage from the people there. They're kind of sick of this. It's started off with some, uh, in Oxford, England, I saw this starting off a couple of weeks ago where there was riots over different stuff. And what happened was is somebody stabbed uh, a kid, right? A fucking child was stabbed. And they came out, people came out in droves on both sides of this disagreement. And it was a really sad, sad prospect. I mean, a kid died, right? And uh, the person who stabbed them was a a uh if i remember correctly an african christian person so not muslim right well during all of the vigil for this little girl some dude comes out like full-blown black banner with a machete to the fucking vigil and that just that just fucking tipped the kettle completely and they went the fuck off and christ there's uh you can find footage of buses and shit burning like parts of london burning and this is oxford this is Oxford University, like college town, one of the most prolific Ivy League colleges in the world. This is happening in their city, right? This is prolific. This is some straight, like, crazy, crazy shit. Add to that, there's also riots and stuff going on in, in, in the United States in a couple of different areas. So things have been very, very interesting. I think we're starting to reach a tipping point as a group of people that... um. I, I don't know how it's gonna go. I think it's uh I think it's uh it's a real it's a real like verge to where we're we're gonna see things fall one way or another. I mean this is this is the uh, echoings to race wars and stuff like that. And you're talking about peoples that are are even willing to go up against axes and machetes and knives and this is something going on right now. Right now you can go through Twitter and hit explore. I guarantee you it's gonna come up in the top trending stuff. Bop, bop, bop. Yep. Here's NYPD clashes. Liverpool. This is another spot in undisclosed location, England. I mean, this is getting nuts right now. Right the fuck now. Axes, hammers shouting Allah Akbar. Like, mind you, on top of that, you know, you have all this stuff going on with Iran and Hezbollah and, uh, Israel and everything else. So I, you know, as any, and as any person out there, just be safe, protect yourself right now. I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of getting bad out there. So keep yourself safe, honestly. But I just thought I'd, I'd give you that bit of actual, like non fucking spazoid news. Um, but now that you've heard that from me and my uninformed opinion, 